Hi there. Uh, this is quickly from Onyx. Um, uh, showing you about uh, antivirus systems. Uh, there's quite a few about. There's Norton um, Internet Security System. Uh, there's stuff like Spyware Doctor and many others. Uh, most of these, 90% of these, you have to pay for. Uh, the 10% that you don't have to pay for, some aren't very good. They don't pick up your viruses. They don't have any spyware on them at all, uh, anti-spyware at, at all, um, and they don't have as much as this one. I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you how to download it. This one's called AVG. Um, uh, recently, they've had 7.5, but they've upgraded to 8.0, which I have got now. Um, it doesn't have uh, close to. Uh, it just just doesn't have as many applications as this one does. Uh, this is a, a a recent contract with Microsoft uh, because they've had such good ratings. Uh, Microsoft have made a contract with them to work for them, and Microsoft's going to give them all the new upgrades on the system so that they can catch the viruses quicker and disable them from the, from the systems. Right, I'm going to show you how to uh, download it and install it. Uh, if you go onto google.co.uk or .com depending where you come from uh, and go onto the taskbar hit and type in A AVG 8.0 free. Wait right, until so that loads up. Don't click on this one because it will go to a completely different site. Um, click on the second one down here it should say free.avg.com uh, slash www downloads. Just click on that. Uh, you come onto this slide here, it should say um, it should have the AVG for antivirus uh, trusted by 70 million users. So, obviously, because of that number, it's going to be a pretty good uh, antivirus system. Uh, it should say anti uh, AVG antivirus free edition 8.0. Uh, learn, learn more. You might want to save this to uh, favourites or anything like that. I'll post both the um, addresses on the details on the description uh, so that you can find out uh, you can find out more. If you go down halfway down the page, if I just scroll this down, uh, go on to download AVG free 8.0, and if you click on that, it comes onto a different site, uh, cnetdownload.com. Uh, they've got contracts with them otherwise. Uh, if you go halfway down here as well, uh, download now 46.13 megabytes, uh, tested spyware free, so it's it's free and it's got no viruses on it, and you can check it afterwards anyway. Uh, because it's an exe file when it opens up you run it uh, I'm going to cancel this because I've already uh, installed it uh, and I don't need to download it again if I just close this to here uh, and if I open it for you you just go through the normal setup the, the install wizard will come up and you just you, you, uh, you go through it as, as you would normally do anything else say games or downloading anything and installing it uh, this is the uh, the overview section uh, it's got about it's got um, it's got uh, seven seven applications in it. Uh, it's got an antivirus one uh, that tells you if it's working properly or not. You can always right click these and open them and uh, have a look at the descriptions on them. If I just go back to the overview, uh, it's got anti spyware, uh, which some of them don't have, but this one's pretty good. It's got an email scanner. Uh, I think Norton had it, but you had to pay for it. Uh, the license agreement is down here in the in, in the left hand corner. It's free, so there's no uh, expiry date on it. So after 30 days, it won't stop working. Um, you've got the link uh, link scanner, which means if you go onto any, uh, so if you go onto any Google or anything like that, or any website, you type in on the uh, the toolbar, the, the taskbar at the top, the toolbar at the top. Um, before the let uh, the website loads up, it will scan that site uh, and check for any malicious viruses. And what it will do is it will disable them or it will deny the pop up because most of them are on, on the pop ups that come up. You can you can download some pop up blockers. Uh, but I prefer this one because it does it for you and you don't have to download seven different um, uh, files you can just have one uh, which is AVG uh, you've got Resident Shield which is uh, if on your computer say you've got another user on a different account uh, and they've downloaded something and it's got a few viruses in it what the Resident Shield will do is it will stop it from getting onto your account and buggering up your system uh, it's pretty good I don't use it because I've only got one account on my computer but it's good there just in case. The update manager is very good. It can update. You can, you can change it. I'll, I'll show you how to change it. You can update it if you open that. Uh, you can change it every day at 33 minutes past 11 on the night. Uh, you can change it to um, any of these. So you can you can change it to whenever you like, what time you like, uh, and you can you can take it to update now. You can always click on there. Sometimes there's a few problems with finding the servers on the update. If you have any problems with that. Uh, 
pass me a comment and I'll try and help you but mainly most of the uh, problems with it is it can't find the server uh, now this can be solved by well, well I always uh, uh, solve it by doing this if you keep clicking on the update now until it finds it until it comes up the update box um, it should work uh, if not just send me a comment and I'll try I'll try and help you because um, I've dealt with quite a few problems with AVG but they've, that they've had uh, problems of Across loads of users, and they've, 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 they've sent downloads and upgrades to sort them out. So most of them are done. If I just go back to the overview, uh, nope. Uh, right on the computer scanner, uh, you can scan the whole uh, the, uh, scan the whole computer. You've got settings like when you scan the whole computer. If I just click on this, right, you jump another box here. If I click pause on that, so it doesn't scan anymore, you can have it on slow scan automatic scan which just scans the recommended systems the recommended files or you can have fast scan which which skips some of them which are, which really aren't uh, needed but I always have a slow scan and it for me it takes about an hour and 15 minutes uh, but that's to do the full system scan on every single file uh, automatic scan sometimes misses them out and fast scan certainly misses um, only the small ones out but they may have viruses in um, if I just cancel that um, it, whenever you're finished, uh, it'll come up there. Infections found zero 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 zero. Uh, it will tell you what's in your system, what's not in your system. It will tell you when you've done it, uh, how many objects you've scanned. All right, you close that. That's it on most of them. Um, if you go back onto that, you can you can scan specific, uh, uh, specific files or folders. If I just close this down and show you something, say if I go onto my Rocket Dock and go on to Cam Studio, if you right click something and you go to scan with AVG free uh, that'll open up this window again this, that'll open up wind, uh, that there and it'll come up to, onto the scan thingy again and it will only scan what that file is so you may be able to do it with other ones you may not be able to but that's how you do it on that you can always if, if you wanna if you wanna change quite a few things you can always go into advanced settings on the tools uh, you can enter any of these um, say go on to appearance you can change it you can pretty much change nearly everything in it um, you can maintenance no you don't want to go like that virus vault you can tell it to delete things after uh, 30 days maximum uh, files and that lot of stuff like that um, if you go on to uh, vi uh, view virus vault that will tell you ha how many viruses mainly these are just tracking cookies from different sites uh, it will tell you what it was if it's a virus or not uh, most of these would be tracking cookies uh, an event history will tell you when you've took, when you've downloaded things, when you've upgraded, um, and when you've um, done scans, and it will tell you how long you've done the floor and stuff like that. Uh, so I recommend it. You do get a little no uh, notification bar down here that will just give you pointless tips, but they're quite interesting sometimes. This one says, "Did you know the number of poison websites is increasing? One in one thousand web pages are infected with malicious drive-by downloads." Uh, with AVG you can search and surf the internet safely uh, you can always click hide notifications to take that away um, here it tell you what, uh, when the last scan was when the last update was uh, the virus database, uh, database how many it's got in there the AVG version uh, that will change every time you, you update it which will update every day uh, the license type as I said before is free and there's no trial basis so it won't run out and it won't stop working on your system uh, if I just exit that and that's pretty much it and you get a little one down here on the little uh, on the, the taskbar and you can always put a little um, little thing here for it on on your your rocket dock or you can have it on your desktop or wherever um, but that's AVG and I recommend it to everybody uh, but if you're going to download it and you've got another uh, antivirus system on there say uh, Norton or spyware doctor or anything like that I would uninstall that first because they like to attack each other. Uh, when I had Norton Internet Security on mine, my AVG tried to shut my Norton down several times, and the Norton tried to shut AVG down, and they were both seeing each other as viruses. So uh, I would recommend uninstalling um, the one uh, any antivirus system uh, if if you're going to download AVG 8.0. You can always download out AVG 87.5, but I recommend that 8.0. As I said, the uh, the links will be in the description, and I hope I've been assistance and help for you. And good luck in stopping all these 
viruses from other websites and thank you very much for watching um please subscribe and any comments you just post up down at the bottom below the video thanks